Because, uh, because it's... Uh, we learn new, new stuff. Don't talk together. Think? Malak, Malak first. When we learn vocabulary, we anyway enhance our writing and our reading. Excellent. And we learn new words. Mm -hmm. That's great. What else, ya Galia? So the page is 295. Okay, we have this passage right here, an environmentally friendly vacation. An environmentally friendly vacation. My mother had a great idea for our vacation this year, an ecotourism trip to Costa Rica. Mom explained that ecotourism is environmentally friendly traveling. Costa Rica is a country in Central America that has a lot of ecotourism. Mom found a hotel there that is sustainable, which means it is able to serve its guests without harmful consequences to the environment. The more mom told me about the hotel, the more excited I became. It is on a hill on the edge of the jungle. The hotel gets all its electricity from solar panels and wind turbines that look like big metal windmills made with huge airplane propellers. We will get around on bicycles instead of in cars, so we won't cause any greenhouse gas emissions. At the hotel, we will learn about the local culture and the plants and animals in the jungle. Mom read that sometimes the hotel workers find abandoned toucan eggs and they keep them warm and hatch them in incubators. I'd love to know what a toucan chick looks like. It's a good thing I'm taking my camera. I am so excited about our trip that I get on the internet every day to look up the weather in Costa Rica. A big ferocious storm has passed and the forecasters are saying that next week will be sunny and warm. Mom planned our vacation carefully, and I can't help thinking that she even planned the weather. <laughs> okay, uh, an environmentally friendly vacation. In this uh, passage right here, we are learning about a mom <clears throat> that is so interested about environment and saving the environment that she asked and invited her kids to go with her in a vacation that is environmentally friendly. Which means that what it means that they will not waste any water, they will not waste any uh, any gas, they will not waste any lights or electricity, and uh, on the other hand, they will use something that is friendly for the environment. Like for example, they will use instead uh, instead of the electricity, they will use fire. Instead of uh, of the so much water, they will take less water, and they will try also to engage with the. Uh, with the animals out there and to, to go for the farms or for the jungles that have the most birds and animals and to watch them and to learn more about the environment. This trip is very amazing and uh, it's really, really educated because the kids after that, they will understand the effect of a human uh, on the environment. And thus, after that, they will be what? They will be careful not to waste any uh, any water or not to waste any uh, or to throw maybe some plastic on there so a lot of things can happen <clears throat> because of this trip so the kids can learn a lot of things one of the things that we have here is similar to this vacation we have in Saudi Arabia I don't know if you know it or not my girls but to try to go uh, in Taif we have um, uh, we have uh, the garden of birds you know that Hadiqat al -tuyur. Birds yes, garden. We have it. We have it in Taif. Also, we have also a strawberry. Strawberry. Do you know what strawberries garden? Yeah. Or I want it also. Yes, this is in Taif. This is very educative and very nice. If you go there with your family, ask them about it. Uh, and if you have a vacation one day, try to go there. It's very educative, my girls. In the bird's garden, you will find a lot of birds and many types and different types and several types of the of the birds. In the strawberries garden, you will go there and see how they uh, how they uh, plant the strawberries and the lifetime of the strawberry, how they take it after that, and they make uh, juice out of it, they make uh, cheesecake out of it, or maybe cake. Uh, there is a lot of usage for uh, for the strawberries. 
So this is very educative thing. It's similar to this one. However, you will learn about nature, about uh, plants and about birds. But this one, it, you will learn about environment more, how to save uh, the plastic, how not to throw the plastic anywhere, how to, not to waste the water, how to take care of the animals and the plants around us. So it will can serve us for the long term. Okay, we have these words. First, we have sustainable. Mom found a hotel there that is sustainable, which means it is able to serve its guests without harmful consequences on the environment. Now we said that there's a strategy for the vocabulary. If I don't understand yeah. the meaning of it, to read the whole sentence, right? Yeah. So now I have the word sustainable. I will read here and you try to understand what is the mean about sustainable. Mom found a hotel there, a hotel there that is sustainable which means it is able to serve its guests without harmful consequences on the environment. So what does it mean, sustainable? Um, maybe that uh, like they can uh, go there comfortable. Comfortable, maybe. What else? And how did you understand it's comfortable? From what? Because she say here, which means it's able to serve its guests without harmful. Mm without harmful consequences to the environment. So what yeah. does it mean sustainable? Is it com uh, comfortable? It means comfortable or what? Oh, you have no. the word and this is the meaning after it, which means it is able to serve its guests without harmful consequences to the environment. So sustainable here, it means something that lasts for a long time and you will not make any harmful uh, choices when you do it. Okay, also we have consequences without harmful consequences to the environment. What does it mean consequences? Like for example, if you waste a lot of water in that area, after a while you will not have any, uh, the river will be dry. Why? Because you are using a lot of water. This is a consequence of your uh, using, your over using of the water. So consequence of that, you will lose the river or the lake. What does it mean, consequence? Result. Hmm? Yes. Result. Yes. yes, excellent job. So it is a result, as a result of something. And then we have the hotel gets all its electricity from solar panels and wind turbines that looks like big metal windmills made with huge airplane propel, uh, propellers. So what does it mean, turbines, wind turbines? We are making the electricity without taking the electricity from the water. No, we yeah, are. Yeah, you know, the device. Ah, uh, device that what? It's I like a container, I think. Yes, Malak. Malak. Like, a, like a wood, they put it in a shape and then the wind spin it. Yes, it's like uh, something made of wood, this one, but here it's made of what? Made of airplane parts, which is metal, yani. And when the wind come, what happened is the wind come, it move these things to go around and around. Every time they move, they what? They make electricity like this around each other. Okay, let's go ahead <clears throat> to see right now more words right here and the meaning of each one. So the first thing we have is emission. What does it mean the word emission? Emission, it means discharge, uh, discharges given off into the air, which means the a smoke that comes out from what? From the factories, the smoke that comes out of the cars, and it's what? It's pumped into the air. This kind of a smoke, bad smoke, what we call it? We call it emissions, emissions. So emissions are the discharges given off into the air. It comes from factories or cars. Forecasters. Forecasters, it means what? It means, for example, this person right here, the, uh, the, the, the journalist that tells about tomorrow's weather. He will say like tomorrow in Jeddah, we will have rain and the sun will be, uh, we, the, sun will, the weather will be cloudy. And then after that, we will have rain on Jeddah and Mecca. Uh, when you come the, uh, the next day, Sometimes that expectation can happen and sometimes it can't happen. So when it happens, I will call it what? When, 
because this man he brings information from what from the things that he knows he tried to read the geography of the area he he tried to understand what is going on the weather the days before it and for the next day he will expect how the weather will be this expectation i will call it forecast forecast which, which means expectation the person who make the expectation i will make him forecaster 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 it means what the person who make the prediction or the expectation of tomorrow of, of, of weather's condition so the person who expect the weather's condition i will call him forecasters okay then we have turbans this is the turbans my gears it's made of of metal, metal? And when the wind yes of metal and when the wind comes, it makes this metal move and move. Every time it moves, it takes the electricity down and put it in uh, one extra container. And you use it after that for what? For electricity. Consequences. Consequences. Uh, uh, for sometimes I cut the onion in the kitchen to make a, a salad or to make a food or something. As a result for that, I will cry. So what is the consequences? If I ask you, what is the consequences of cutting the, the onion? Cry. You will cry. So cry here is the consequences of doing something. Consequences means result of effect or effect of something. And then we have uh, ferocious. Ferocious, it means what? This line right here is ferocious. It comes from the word fierce. Fierce, it means very angry and very cruel and very destructive. We call him ferocious. This is what an adjective. Yeah. Then we have incubator. Incubator is what is the place that I, it's a heated container. And sometimes uh, you put, sometimes uh, they use it in where? They use it in the chicken farms. They use all the chicken in something, they call it incubator. And in there, the chicken will feel warm. And then after that, she will have the egg. Without the incubator, she will not have eggs much often. So what they try to do is to put them inside a heating container, which means to keep the place hot a little bit or warm a little bit because the chicken, she can't put the egg without having warm place. That's why you can see it in the cartoon. Sometimes they show you that there is a chicken and she's sitting on the egg. Why? Because yeah. without sitting on the egg, the, the egg will not hatch. So she needs to make the egg out and then after that to have warm area. And even if she doesn't, um, uh, she doesn't uh, sleep on it, she will hatch by itself because the weather is warm. We call it incubator. Then we have sustainable. Sustainable means maintainable and supportable, which means something lasts for a long time. Like for example, this plant right here, I will grow it and then after a while it will grow, grow, grow until it becomes a big plant and then after that a tree. The tree will give me what? The tree will give me fruits, it will give me seeds, it will give me leaves, it will give me a lot of things. And then that tree, I can take the seeds of it and make another tree. So what the whole process, we call it what? We call it sustainable. Sustainable means that lasts for a long time. Okay, my girls, these are the words right here. I want you now to go to your, so open the page 362 in your notebooks and let's have the exercise on the vocabulary. Read the question, Watin. Choose the word from the box that best matches each definition. Write the word on the line. People who make predictions. Mm -hmm. What we call the people who make prediction or expectation. Forecaster. Forecasters, excellent. So the first one right here, forecasters. And then number two, Malak. Yeah, Miss. Number two for you. Read the definition and give me a word from the box. Okay, Miss. Um, miss, I can't see the screen. Really? Yeah. Thank you so yeah, much for telling me that. <laughs> I thought it's there. Okay. Now you can see it, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Do you have the book Malak or not? Yeah, Miss. Okay. Yeah. 
smoke or gases sent into the air. Uh, what we call it? Sus sustainable? No. Sustainable is something that is made for a long time, huh? Mm. Who can help her? <coughs> Me. Yes, what in? Um, emissions. Emissions, very good. So we said that the gases that you send it into the air, we call it um, uh, emissions. Number three, uh, Galia. Galia, are you there? Okay. And yeah, yeah, I'm here. Miss. You, Lean, okay? Extremely fierce. It's extremely, extremely fierce. Um. Huh. Mm. Consequences, emissions, ferocious uh, forecasters, incubator, or sustainable, or turbines. Someone who's really mad mm. and fierce. Uh, consequences? No. No. Consequences is there as a result of something. Here, I'm trying to describe somebody who is really mad and fierce. It's really obvious, Galia. Malak, can you help her? Yeah. Yes, ferocious, ferocious. Very good, yeah, Malak. It comes from the word fierce, Aslan. So it's, it's really easy. Fierce, ferocious. Okay. Number uh, four, lean. Able, lean. Lean. Lean, are you there? Hurry up. What in? What is it, what in? Able to support itself. Sustainable. Sustainable. Very good. Sustainable. Galia, the last one. The results of actions. What we call it? Results of something. Uh, the consequences. Consequences. Excellent. Cons. Consequences. Very good. Okay, number um, six right here. Choose the word from the box that best complete each sentence. Write the word on the line. Number six, engineers are looking at using wind to generate electricity. Turbines. Turbines, excellent. So we have turbines. Turbines, excellent. What team? Number seven, Malak. Yeah. Uh -huh. A house that uses solar panels to heat water is partly... Um, the house that has heat inside it, what we call it? Miss, can I, can I try? Yes, yes, Galia. Incubator? Incubator, ka, ka, incubator. Incubator. Uh, do you know, Galia, when we pronounce the C as S, sometimes we pronounce yeah. C as S, and sometimes we pronounce C as K. But if you want to use it as S, we will pronounce C as S if we have after the C, after the C, if we have after it E or I or Y. We will pronounce it as uh -huh. C, like, for example, celery, like, for example, circle, like for example, uh, what what else? What else? Um, clear? clear? No, no, no. no. Ice um, cream. Ice, yes, ice, very good. Ice cream, and also what do we have? Icy. So every time we have one of these letters after the C, I will call it S. So it will become celery, circle, ice, icy. But right here, as you can see. We have the first C I pronounced as S, but the other C I pronounced as K. I said circle. Why here I pronounce it as K? Because if the C, any other letter comes after the C, any other letter other than these three, then we will pronounce C as K. So if you have C and after it any other consonant, 
any consonant or any other vowels of this a o u the rest of the vowels the big vowels a o u so if you have it it will be ka like what like for example cut cat uh, cake. clear cake cream all of them it will be ka understood galia this is how yeah, how the c goes because for the c we have two sounds Okay, my girls. Yeah, I used to be so confused. Now it's good. Understood and understand it now. Yeah. Okay, that's great. Let's go for number eight. What team? Number eight for you. The lab. Okay. The lab was used like an to hatch sign to hatch scientist ideas. Mm -hmm. The lab was used like an. To hatch scientists' ideas. So I'm sorry for number for number eight. You are confused incubator. because you wanted to use this one, right? For yeah. number eight, it will be incubator, and for number seven, a house that uses solar panels to heat water. It's partly, it's partly what sustainable. Means that it supports itself. It supports itself with what with the electricity that comes from the sun. So a house that uses solar panel, which means that take the heat from the sun uh, to heat the water. So it's partly sustainable. Yani it supports itself. The lab was used like an incubator to hatch scientists' ideas. So to hatch, you need a warmer place. So we will use incubator. Number nine. During the storm. Hmm. Yes, Malak. Um, during the storm, a wind, uh, wind store, the roof of the supermarket. So what kind um, of wind did that? Because it removed the roof of the supermarket. Is it a calm uh, wind? Ferocious. 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 Excellent. Ferocious. Ferocious wind. Number 10, Galia. Weather? Weather predict server the thunderstorm for the weekend. For the week, excellent. So, for what we have, type the word. Who predict the weather? What we call them? Um, From the box here, huh? The person who predict the weather. What I call him? Forecasters. Forecasters, excellent. Forecasters. Okay, my girls? Okay, miss. Do you have any question for now? No, thank you. No. 